Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today to share a profound truth, a secret that has the power to transform your entire existence. The topic of our discussion is don't react, cut them off silently. And I assure you this principle holds within it the very essence of creation itself. Now, you might be wondering, what does it mean to cut them off silently? Who are they? And why should we not react? My dear friends, they're not external entities or individuals, but rather the old states of consciousness that no longer serve your higher self. The reactive patterns, the habitual thoughts, the limiting beliefs, these are what we must cut off, and we must do so silently, within the sanctum of our own imagination. You see, the world you experience is nothing more than an our picturing of your consciousness. Every person, every circumstance, Every event in your life is a reflection of your inner state. When you react to these external manifestations, you are giving power to the very state you wish to transcend. You are, in essence, watering the seeds of what you do not want to grow. But when you cut them off silently, when you refuse to engage with these old patterns, you are withdrawing your attention and thus your creative power from them. Remember, attention is the currency of your mind. We you place your attention. There flows the energy of creation. Let me illustrate this with a simple example. Imagine you are in a situation that would typically provoke a reaction of anger or frustration. Perhaps someone has criticized you unfairly, or you've faced an unexpected setback. The old you might have lashed out, defended yourself vehemently, or fallen into despair. But the new you, the you that understands the power of imagination, does something entirely different. Instead of reacting, you pause. You recognize that this external event is merely shadow, a reflection of an old state of consciousness. And in that moment of recognition, you make a choice. You choose to cut off that old state silently. You turn your attention away from the seeming reality of the external world and towards the only true reality, the reality of your imagination. In your imagination, you see yourself as you wish to be. Calm. Confident, unaffected by external circumstances, you feel the naturalness of this state. And as you dwell in this new state, as you make it alive within you, you are literally transforming your world from the inside out. This, my friends, is the true meaning of don't react. Cut them off silently. It is not a passive act of suppression, but rather an active, creative process of choosing a new state of being. It is the art of conscious assumption the practice of embodying the state of the wish fulfilled. Now, some of you might be thinking, but Neville, isn't this just ignoring reality? Isn't it irresponsible to not react to the challenges and problems in our lives? And to this, I say, what you call reality is nothing more than fruit of past assumptions. It is the harvest of seeds planted in the fertile soil of your consciousness. When you react to it, you are simply planting more seeds of the same kind. But when you cut off these reactions silently, when you shift your attention to the desired state, you are planting new seeds. You are choosing a new assumption and thus creating a new reality. This is not irresponsible. It is the highest responsibility you can take. For you are the operant power in your world. And by consciously choosing your state of being, you are consciously creating your world. Let us delve deeper into this principle. When I say don't react, I am not advocating for a life of inaction or passivity. Far from it. I am calling you to the most profound action possible. The action of consciously assuming the state of your wish fulfilled. This action takes place, not in the outer world, but in the inner world of your imagination. You see, most people live their lives backwards. They look to the outside world for causes, for reasons to feel or behave in certain ways. They're constantly reacting to what they perceive as external stimuli. But the truth, the great secret of life, is that the outer world is not the cause, but the effect. Your consciousness is the only cause there is. When you truly understand this, when you internalize this truth, you will see the folly of reacting to external circumstances. It's like arguing with your own shadow. Instead, you will learn to direct your attention your consciousness towards the state you wish to embody. And as you dwell in this state, as you make it alive within you, the outer world has no choice 
This is what it means to cut them off silently. You are severing the connection between external stimuli and your internal state. You are reclaiming your powers, the creator of your reality. And you do this not through force or struggle, but silently in the quiet of your own imagination. Imagine for a moment that you are an actor on a stage. The circumstances of your life are the script you've been given. Now most people feel bound by this script. They react to every line, every stage direction, believing they have no choice. But you, my dear friends, you understand the power of imagination, you know better. You know that you can step off that stage at any moment. You can walk into the wings, into the dressing room of your imagination, and put on a new costume. You can assume a new role, a new state of being. And when you return to the stage, fully embodying this new state, the entire play changes around you. This is the magic, the miracle of consciousness. This is the power you hold within you. And it all begins with that simple yet profound choice. Don't react. Cut them off silently. Now let's explore how this principle applies in your daily life. Perhaps you're in a job that no longer satisfies you. The old you might have reacted with frustration. Complaining about your circumstances. Feeling trapped and powerless. But the new you... The you that understands the power of imagination, instead of reacting to the unwanted circumstances, you cut them off silently. You withdraw your attention from the current job and all its associated frustrations. Instead, you turn your attention to the job you desire. In your imagination, you see yourself in that new position. You feel the satisfaction of doing work you love. You experience the joy of using your talents fully. Here's the crucial part. You dwell in this state. You make it so alive, so real in your imagination that it feels more present, more tangible than your current circumstances. You live from this new assumption, this new state of being. What happens next might seem like magic to those who don't understand the law of consciousness. Opportunities begin to appear. The right people come into your life. Circumstances align in ways you couldn't have planned. And before long, you find yourself in that very job you imagined, wondering how it all happened so seamlessly. But you know, you know that it was your choice to not react, to cut off the old state silently, and to assume the new state that created this new reality. You have witnessed firsthand the creative power of your consciousness. Let's take another example. Perhaps you're in a relationship that's filled with conflict. The old you might have reacted to every perceived slight, every disagreement. You might have engaged in arguments trying to prove your point or change the other person. But the new you, the you that understands the power of imagination, chooses a different path. Instead of reacting to the conflict, you cut it off silently. You withdraw your attention from the problems, the disagreements, the tensions. Instead, you turn your attention to the relationship you desire in your imagination. You see yourself in a harmonious, loving relationship. You feel the warmth of mutual understanding, the joy of deep connection. Again, you dwell in this state. You make it so real in your imagination that it becomes more vivid, more present in the current circumstances. You live from this new assumption, this new state of being. And once again, what follows might seem miraculous. The dynamics of the relationship begin to shift. Your partner seems to change, becoming more understanding, more loving. The conflicts that once seemed insurmountable begin to dissolve. And you find yourself in the very relationship. You imagine marveling at the transformation. But you understand. You know that it wasn't your partner who changed, but you. By choosing not to react, by cutting off the old state silently, and by assuming the new state, you transformed your world from within. This, my dear friends, is the power you hold within you. This is the creative force of your consciousness. And it is available to you in every moment, in every area of your life. Now, some of you might be wondering, but Neville, what about when things go wrong? What about when we face real challenges or tragedies? And to this I say, they're not real tragedies, not real challenges outside of your assumption of them as such. What you perceive as a tragedy or a challenge is simply an opportunity to exercise your power 
of assumption. When faced with what appears to be a difficult situation, remember, don't react, cut them off silently. Don't give power to the appearance by reacting to it. Instead, withdraw your attention from the ceiling problem. Turn within to your imagination and assume the state of the solution already realized. If you are facing financial difficulties, don't react with fear or worry. Cut off those states silently. Instead, assume the state of financial abundance. Feel the relief, the security, the freedom that comes with financial well-being. Make this state. So real in your imagination that it supersedes the current appearance of life. If you're dealing with health issues, don't react with anxiety or despair. Cut off those states silently. Instead, assume the state of perfect health. Feel the vitality coursing through your body. Experience the joy of vibrant wealth. Dwell in this state until it becomes more real to you than any physical symptom. Remember, the outer world is nothing more than a shadow, a reflection of your inner assumptions. By refusing to react to its appearances and instead consciously choosing your state of being, you are exercising your divine creative power. You are fulfilling your role as the operant power in your universe. Now, I want to address a common misconception. When I say don't react, cut them off silently. I am not advocating for a life of emotional suppression or denial. This principle is not about ignoring your feelings or pretending that challenges don't exist. Rather, it's about recognizing the true source of your feelings and experiences and consciously choosing the state from which you wish to operate. You see, your emotions are not caused by external circumstances. They are the result of your state of consciousness, your assumptions about reality. When you react emotionally to external events, you are unconsciously accepting those events as causes of your internal state. But when you understand that your consciousness is the only cause, you liberate yourself from this reactive pattern. Instead of reacting, you observe. You witness your emotions without identifying with them. And in that space of awareness, you make a choice. You choose the state you wish to embody, regardless of external appearances. This is what it means to cut them off silently. You are severing the assumed connection between external events and your internal state. This practice requires vigilance and persistence. The habits of reaction are deeply ingrained, reinforced by years of unconscious living. But with consistent practice, you will find yourself naturally assuming the state of your wish fulfilled, regardless of external circumstances. Imagine for a moment that you are standing before a mirror. The reflection you see is your current life circumstances. Now, if you don't like what you see, what do you do? Do you argue with the reflection? Do you try to change it directly? Of course not. You understand that to change the reflection, you must change yourself. This is precisely how you should approach your life. Your external world is nothing more than a reflection of your inner state. When you don't like what you see, don't react to it. Don't try to change it directly. Instead, turn within. Change your assumption, your state of being. And watch as the reflection, your, your outer world, changes to match your new inner state. This, my friends, is the art of living creatively. It is the practice of conscious manifestation. And it all begins with that simple yet profound choice. Don't react, cut them off silently. Now let's discuss how to implement this principle in your daily life. The key is to cultivate a state of awareness, a witnessing consciousness that observes your thoughts, feelings, and reactions without getting caught up in them. This awareness creates a space, a pause between stimulus and response, and in that space lies your power to choose. When you notice yourself beginning to react to a person or situation, pause. Take a deep breath. Remember that what you're seeing is not the cause of your reaction, but the effect of your past assumptions. In that moment of recognition, you have the power to cut off the old state silently. How do you do this? By turning your attention away from the external situation and towards your desired state of being. Ask yourself, how would I feel if my desire were already fulfilled? What would my inner state be if I were already the person I wish to be? Then 
using the power of your imagination, step into that state, feel it, experience it as vividly as you can. Make it more real to you than the current circumstances. This is not mere visualization or positive thinking. This is the active assumption of the state of your wish fulfilled. As you practice this, you'll find that your reactions to external events begin to change naturally. What once provoked anger or fear now passes by without affecting your inner state. You become less reactive and more creative, less a victim of circumstances, and more the conscious author of your life. Remember, the outer world has no power over you, except the power you give it through your attention and assumption. When you withdraw your attention from unwanted circumstances and place it firmly on your desired state, you are literally shifting the foundations of your reality. This practice may seem challenging, but first, especially when faced with deeply ingrained patterns or particularly difficult circumstances. Remember that every time you choose not to react, every time you cut off an old state silently and assume a new one, you are exercising your creative power. You are reshaping your world from within. Consider for a moment the immense implications of this principle. If your consciousness is the only cause, if your assumptions create your reality, then there are truly no limitations to what you can be, do, or have. The only constraints are those you accept in your own mind. When you fully embrace this truth, when you consistently practice the art of not reacting and consciously assuming your desired state, you step into your true power as a creative being. You become the conscious author of your life story, no longer a passive reader reacting to every plot twist but the writer, director, and star of your own magnificent production. Imagine living from this state of empowerment. Imagine moving through your days with the unshakable knowing that you were the creator of your reality. How would you approach challenges? How would you interact with others? How would you pursue your dreams and aspirations? You would no longer be swayed by external circumstances. You would no longer be at the mercy of other people's opinions or actions. You would stand firm in your own creative power, consistently choosing the state from which you wish to operate, regardless of appearances. This, my dear friends, is true freedom. It is the liberation that comes from recognizing and embracing your divine nature as a creative being. And it all begins with that simple yet profound choice. Don't react. Cut them off silently. As we near the conclusion of our discussion, I want to emphasize a crucial point. The principle we've explored today, don't react, cut them off silently, is not merely a technique for achieving your desires or improving your life circumstances. While it certainly leads to these outcomes, its true significance is far greater. This principle is nothing less than the key to awakening to your true nature. It is the path to realizing your oneness with the creative power of the universe. For when you consistently practice not reacting to external stimuli and instead consciously choosing your state of being, you are aligning yourself with the fundamental creative principle of existence. You see, in the ultimate reality, there is no separation between you and the creative power you call God. Your consciousness, your I am, is that very power individualized as you. When you react to external circumstances, you are temporarily forgetting this truth. You are seeing yourself as separate from the creative power, as a victim of external forces. But when you cut off these reactions silently, when you consciously choose your state of being regardless of appearances, you are acknowledging and embodying your true nature as the operant power in your world. You are saying, in essence, I am the creator of my reality. This is why this principle is so transformative. It's not just about getting what you want in life, although that certainly happens. It's about awakening to who you truly are. It's about stepping into your divine inheritance as a creative being. As you practice this principle, as you consistently choose, not to react, but to assume the state of your wish fulfilled, you will find yourself undergoing a profound transformation. You will begin to see the world differently. You will recognize the creative power of your consciousness at work in every aspect of your life. You will see that every person, every circumstance, every event in your life is a reflection of your own consciousness. 
And with this recognition comes an immense sense of freedom and empowerment. For if your consciousness creates your reality, then by changing your consciousness, you can change your entire world. This, my friends, is the promise and the challenge that lies before you. The promise of limitless creative power, of the ability to shape your reality according to your highest vision, and the challenge of consistently remembering and embodying this truth, of refusing to be swayed by appearances and instead standing firm in the knowledge of your creative power. As you leave here today, I urge you to take this principle into your daily life. Practice it diligently. When you find yourself beginning to react to a person or situation, pause. Remember that what you're seeing is not the cause, but the effect of your consciousness.